Hello, my name is Shane, and I'm making this video in Texas where I've lived for the last six years. When I moved to Texas, I didn't have too many qualms about moving to Texas. I was uh, basically considered myself a Republican and had voted in the Republican um, for election for as long as I've been able to vote. And why do I mention any of that background? Well, what led me to be a Republican was a number of reasons. One big one was uh, it was a party considered to be a party of family values. I grew up watching various things. One that stood out to me was the impeachment of Bill Clinton. And when Bush uh, was running for president, he said he wanted to restore honor and dignity. And there was definitely a family values and compassionate conservatism that he was advocating for when he ran uh, for his presidential election. And that was something I could get on board and support. There's many values I believe that the Republican Party has abandoned in the name of defending and supporting Donald Trump. In 2016, I did not vote for him. I cannot support his values, his character. Uh, while there's some policy wins he may have won for conservatives, he can. Donald Trump continues to abandon what the Republican Party used to stood for and some of the best traits that it used to embody. I believe in a party that was founded by Abraham Lincoln, but not in one that is solely tied to Trumpism. He does not have America's interest at, at heart. You can see this in a number of instances. Some of the recent stories you may have heard and may not have. I'm going to mention just a couple of them. So there is wildfires raging in Oregon and California and across the West. It has been reported uh, by Miles Taylor that in one of the meetings, Donald Trump said, stop sending money to California. Why was that? Because they didn't support him, support him politically and it wasn't his base. Don't send them any more money to help rebuild. And more recently, we've heard through the conversations that Donald Trump had with Bob Woodward that he was warned about the virus. You know, it was back as early as January 28th. His... Um, director of national intelligence or some uh, someone along those lines O'Brien last name had said that this would be his biggest national security threat you would think you would take that seriously and that you would act appropriately take action something like Winston Churchill did when he supported his nation in a great fight against Hitler but instead he continued to mislead us. February 7th, it was very clear in his conversation with Woodward that Donald Trump knew with certainty this was an airborne deadly virus, 5% more deadly than the seasonal flu. Yet he continues to mislead and give contradictory um, statements and advice to the American people, contradicting health experts and not wearing a mask and other things that would help slow the spread and put our economy back to a place where we can restore and rebuild. He doesn't have our interests at heart, as I said before. He only wants to get his re-election and see the stock market go up because he thinks that will help him win his re-election. His values, as I said, are not mine. I hope you will take a look at what he has done to the Republican Party and consider if you would want to have another four years of someone not defending the best interests of our country. This year, in 2020, I'll be casting my vote for Joe Biden, and I hope you will do the same.